Traditional medicine is often treated as a thing of the past by many Western populations. However, it is an industry which continues to thrive in several Asian cultures. It is the species whose parts have supposed medicinal qualities which are paying the price for this industry through population depletion, grievous exploitation of animal rights, and intensive captive breeding. Pangolin scales are used in Chinese traditional medicine to treat a range of medical conditions including rheumatism and arthritis, gastrointestinal disorders, and stomach ulcers. Pangolin scales are also believed in many parts to embody powers of invisibility and good luck, and to be useful in the defense against witchcraft. Captive breeding of pangolins is difficult as they breed very slowly, meaning that all pangolins used in traditional medicine are caught in the wild. This has so severely diminished local populations that a huge market for international trading in pangolins has sprung up in Southeast Asia. Although trading of the animal is strictly prohibited, pangolins are currently the most common mammal to be confiscated from cargoes in this region, with over 1,200 animals confiscated in a recent operation. Research has shown that 50,000 pangolins were lost worldwide last year. Although there is still no scientific evidence that pangolin scales have any effective medicinal qualities, this industry continues to drive a species to near extinction. In traditional Chinese medicine, bear bile is a substance prescribed to improve eyesight, protect the bladder, reduce fevers, and work as an anti-inflammatory. Rather than killing bears for their bile, intensive bear bile farms have been set up across Asia in which bears are kept for several years and milked for their bile. The living conditions in such farms are notoriously appalling, with bears often kept in enclosures, known as crush cages, in which they cannot even stand up. There are several methods of bile extraction, with many bears having tubes or catheters permanently implanted into their abdomens. Bear bile farms have attracted heavy protest from animal rights groups worldwide. Chinese officials, however, claim that the process of farming is in fact saving wild populations of bears from being diminished. The active substance in bear bile, urodeoxycholic acid, is now manufactured by pharmaceutical companies and sold in several pure forms. Regardless of this development, many traditional Chinese doctors continue to prescribe bear bile. Currently, there are estimated to be nearly 13,000 bears being farmed across Asia. As a highly significant symbol in Chinese culture, almost all parts of a tiger are used in traditional Chinese medicine. Just a few examples are tiger bone, which is meant to act as an anti-inflammatory, tiger claws, which are used as a sedative, and tiger teeth, which are used to treat fever or worn as talismans. In the last 50 years, wild tiger populations have dropped from over 25,000 animals in the wild to just over 3,000 today. Along with habitat loss, poaching for use in traditional medicine is a major cause of population depletion. Tiger breeding farms have also been set up across Asia to fuel the demand for tiger parts in traditional medicine. The breeding of tigers in these conditions has led to extreme levels of inbreeding, rendering any captive bred animal unable to be released into the wild.